Yes, people. So today we're going to talk about do you need a healthy ego in order for you to become successful in sport? Now, for me, just, you know, knowing and just doing a lot of research on, you know, people like Slatan, who we know has the most, you know, ego we've ever seen. Um, even Cristiano Ronaldo, even Messi, people don't even understand Messi is also ego driven and he's also task driven. But uh, Ronaldo has a bit of both and we know CR7 has that as well in his locker and I just want to pull out there that you have to have a bit of both I feel that um, you know if you don't have enough healthy ego about yourself you won't be able to compete and be able to stand in certain environments because you just will shrink because other people's um, potent ego about themselves will just you know cause you to be like oh well you know let me just hide in my ability you know I'm afraid of shining in front of others and so you've got to find out what's the difference. Now, the difference between task is the fact that you are more driven by the success of trying new activities, new levels, pushing yourself to grow and become a better player. Then you've got somebody who is more of an ego driven, who is more or less driven by the success of others or, you know, you wanted to be the best, the best player in the team. So if someone's the best dribbler or the best shoot finisher, you want to be that person that has got that title. So you will work hard in order to get that state. Now, for me, you've got to know this because this will then um, help you to maximize your growth. Michael Jordan, obviously, at one stage was more task driven. And then when he became successful, he was more ego driven. When I mean ego driven, he will look at other people, uh, what is usually find out what other people said about him or something to in, in order for him to, to push to a new level. Something like Thierry Henry also said, he said, if you don't feel that you're the main man, don't even leave your house. And that is a sort of healthy ego I'm talking about that you need to have in your locker. Um, you know, it's very important for you to have this. Now, when you're looking at this test now, this test is simple. You've got to do 13 questions and you've got to be honest. You know, there's questions like, you know, I'm the only one who could do the play or the skill. Now, some people maybe have a healthy ego, a natural ego to say, you know, yeah, I am. And you probably strongly agree. And you probably say neutral to say 50-50 or not. You just got to be honest with yourself. There's no lies here at all. But then this, like I said, when you get the results will then help you to then uh, find the motivation in order for you to then train or work harder. Because then if you come out as task driven, then you know that you got to just work on new things in order for you to, okay, I see that he's talking about this, is how I'm going to increase my speed. Then I want to try that. I want to, want to put it in. That's a sort of task driven individual. Or if you're more ego driven individual, you would then look at, yeah, you know, the coach said that they're going to bring a new striker in because they need, they, you know, they need to finish. And you're a striker yourself. You'll be like, what? So who are they bringing in? Find out on Twitter, they're signing this guy or whatever. Or they're bringing in another guy comes into the WhatsApp group. Then you're like, okay, cool. Coach thinks that you, you don't, you need another striker. Yeah, all right, cool. Watch. And I'm going to go train them. So that's the sort of ego driven. And that's okay. Listen, it's okay. For me, it's okay. Everybody's different. Nobody's the same. But you just got to learn or know what sort of person you are. That's why I'm letting you all have the opportunity to do this test for free on Brian Mack. You just got to click on the link below and just let me know how you get on the results. It's very that simple. You know, bear this in mind that, you know, having a healthy ego is needed in order for you to perfect, play professional football. Now, I don't want you to rig the results down to say, okay, let me make sure I'm going to be like, yeah, yeah, I strongly agree. You got to be honest because honestly, when I played, I was not an ego driven individual, it was more task. I just knew I've got to put in the work, new challenges to do this, to do that. I never was looking at other people to say, oh, I've got to be better than them. And two, I got into certain environments when I realized I had to develop a healthy ego to be like, all right, what he thinks he's that. All right, then I see. Let me put in the work. And then I ended up using that to push me. So let me know how you get on and yeah, leave a comment below.